Hey y'all. Hey friends, welcome to Season Pass Holders opening day at Dollywood. We're gonna go see what's new and improved. And we're gonna take you with us. Let's go. Come on. Don't roll down the hill now. This is lunch. Oh, okay. So you want to tell the new way to get the cinnamon bread. You can't go straight into the grist mill like we did before. Going underneath the water tunnel here. Right there. Yeah, you can't go there. You've actually got There's to There's grist mill. You've actually got to go up. You go on the other side of the leather shop. And come in come down underneath the, the canopy. Where the leather shop's at. You can see the line behind us right line. there. So you pay, or if you've got the free cinnamon bread for the diamond pass, um, if you got your diamond passes by a certain date, you get a free one per month. You redeem that here or pay for it. And then you're going to walk over to the mill and you're going to go inside and pick it up. Right. It's, it's weird seeing the mill empty where before it used to be a bunch of people in there. Right, but the line is going up the hill. And it took us about 15 minutes. Yeah, and this is opening day too, so yeah, uh, pass holder opening day. So, yeah. But you have to go in your app and redeem that before you get to the, get up there to get it. It's well, a process. We, well, at least they prefer you to do that so you can speed the line speed up. Speed line up, yeah. It's a process. Well, tell us, is it just as good as it has been? I don't know. We always get the extra icing. You can get icing or apple butter. Icing's the best. Are you going to get your icing? Oh, when they brought it out of the oven thing they had it in the warmer Delicious. awesome well let me go before he eats it all mm -hmm. you can also get your cinnamon bread at the spotlight bakery as you're going out if you forgot to get it up in the park what you got there mikey oh because i love dolly kelly was holding this up and cheering for dolly when she come by <laughs> we got to see her yeah i wasn't really but because i was what? videoing yeah <laughs> Kelly Sportman. I love Dolly. Okay. Where are we at, Maggie? Uh, we at Miss Lillian's coop. She flew to coop. <laughs> and when she flew to coop, they're going to give her a remodel. They're going to give her an upgrade. She said she wanted to be upgraded too. <laughs> I don't think she needs to be upgraded. Yeah, she's, she's beautiful. Sweet. Love her to death. Yeah, they're redoing it. They said something about they're doing a pit so they can cook here. On the outside. Some, yeah, on the outside they're gonna do one with corn. Barbecue, they're gonna have corn, roasted corn, and roasted corn. I don't I don't remember what else she said, but yeah, it'll be open sometime this season, so we'll be looking forward to that. So Miss Lily can have a, a home to come back to right now. She's out in the weather. Yes, she is. 24-7. So we're gonna go see Dolly. Yeah. 
so we can't wait to see what that what that's gonna oh, be. Oh yeah, come back and get some of that roasted corn. Mm -hmm. so, until we get some roasted corn. True, let's go on let's down move the, on. Let's go on down the hill. Mikey. Well, get them nasty pickles off, please. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so what did you end up getting? Chuck roast is potatoes. Chuck roast is potatoes. You got carrots on there and Oh, you got that on mine. Oh, that'll come with mine. Yeah, you've got my receipt, so can you grab my receipt and tell me what I got? So mine came with slaw and pickles, but he got my pickles because I don't eat them. So what did I get? You got the chicken meal. It's barbecue chicken and it's got cheese on there. It's really good. Yeah. Tell us how yours is. I chicken on it too. Chips. Oh, no, that's crispy onions. Uh -huh. Maybe yours had the crispy onions. I thought mine did, but that looks really good. Oh, wow. And they just brought it, too. They ran out and just brought it. What do you think? Is it good stuff? Mm -hmm. That's good comfort food, huh? Mm -hmm. So, this is one of our tasting pass, pass meals. How much would it have cost if we had paid for that? Mine would have been $14.99. $14.99? I didn't see how much mine was. Mikey, yeah. what would I do if I didn't have you to eat the things off my plate that I don't like? I don't know. I would waste a lot of food. Yeah. I would, wouldn't I? And I wouldn't weigh as much as I do either. <laughs> this is true. Thanks for eating my slaw and my pickles. My sandwich was amazing. <laughs> that roast there was a bunch of roast in there and that was delicious. Real potatoes? Yeah, I tried the potatoes. They were really good. If you're purchasing tickets, you can bypass the line with one of the four new self-serve automated ticket kiosks. Remember, it only takes debit or credit cards. What'd you get, Mikey? I didn't get the turkey potato. No, I did. I got the hogback potato. Hogback mm -hmm. potato. I got the turkey potato. Okay, Mikey, tell us what you think. So we're back on a second day. We came back to see some of the shows. What do you think? It's definitely a do-over. Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we used to. We used to get them, eat them as a meal all the time. Really good. Is it a do-over? Most definitely. Yeah, I like it a lot. Mike. Ma'am. What do you think of the tasting passes? I think they're, I think they're delicious. <laughs> what do you think of purchasing them? Do you recommend them? So we got one for every festival last year. Yeah, because it makes you go and look for the food that's specific to the past. Otherwise, it's like the market. Probably the majority of the people walk through the market while they're coming in or they're leaving, and they see what they got there, which is just um, like the standard stir fry stuff. But with the pass, you scan the QR code and it shows you all the different food that's on there. With the pass, you scan the QR code that's on here and it brings up a map. Then you gotta go look for it. And at I believe all of them, there's at least three things that are on this pass that you can get. And it's stuff that you would know to try to eat. And that's made us try like the what was the Cuban sandwich? First time I ever oh, tried yeah, it. Yeah. Ah, that was good. But it makes you try stuff that you, you wouldn't try any other time. Or it's well, go out you, of your way to try. You get five items. For each pass. Yes. And if you're a diamond or gold, you get a discount on the pass. But when you add up how much you would spend if you bought that food individually and how much you spend on the pass, it's really, 
that's a bargain, I think. Yeah, and then you get different drinks too, but we always try to get the most for our buck, and that is we get the food. Right, because... Because it costs more than what a drink yeah. is. But then, most drinks are like $4.99, $5.99. Yeah, but here again, you get to try something different. You get to yeah. try something that you wouldn't any other time try. Well, on this cup here, well, we get free refills. And they yeah, get like all the day year. passes. And yeah, you can buy the cups. day refill cup, or you can buy the annual refill cup. So you can get drinks cheaper, right, then, but it's only yeah. soft drink. But with our cup, we get any drinks yeah. free for the season. I enjoy it. I don't I look forward to doing it. Me too. And not this only that, time, it, uh, this will go into our uh, shadow box. Um, this time we only got one. We usually get two, but I'm not sure if we're coming back for this festival. They're only good for that particular festival. Yeah, this, so one, is this one is the, 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 the 14th of um, April. April. But we just got one this time to split it. Yeah. So we each got two. We each got something Friday, and then we brought it back today, this Sunday. And we each got something, and then I thought we'd get a dessert on the way out. We can. It's just right over there. It's the, uh, the funnel cake. Oh, right yeah. Strawberry here. crunch funnel cake. I don't know, though, because the ice cream this time looks really good. No, the, yeah. Well, we'll get some. Yeah. But, yes, I would, uh, for me, I'd recommend getting it. Yeah. Would you recommend it? Yes. I did, of course, because I talk you into it every time. <laughs> well, I don't talk you into it. I just tell you this is what we're doing, and you say, okay. <laughs> so another thing I highly recommend is, especially if you are a season pass holder, is the photo card. So you can get photos each day as you leave the park that they've taken either on some of the rides or some of the photo booths or photo ops. You can get just the photos of that day on our card or you can get a season. And we last year got the season and we, we more than used it with everything that we pictures of it. It's for both parks. So I highly recommend this. One thing about that is when we bring the family, we can get family photos. Right, because we had the grandkids last at Christmas. Yeah, so we were able great. to get pictures of them. But there's photographers throughout the park, both parks, that will take your picture. And then our, our card has a QR code that, on it. They scan that up front. We, you stop by the photo booth at the end before you leave on the left before you go through the Emporium. And then they load all the pictures onto your card. And then those you can go download onto your computer or your phone or whatever you want to put them on. They load them on a the card or they... They, they load them on the... On a server, I think it is, yeah, or something like that. and they're good for you several months. And they, I get emails warning me, these pictures are about to go away. So make sure you download them. But I always download them that day. But we more than used this card last year. You don't get the diamond discount on it. But that's okay because we're still saving money on all the pictures that we got. And we got them at both parks. We got them at Flush Country and um, at Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend this. Now, if you are a season pass holder and you've had your season pass a while, you're going to have to trade it. You know, or you don't have to trade it in. We didn't have to turn our ones in. But just for a few more, a couple more months, they're going to be using the old passes that have the barcode, but they're going to a QR code. So we had to get a new pass this morning. A new, a new. We renewed our passes months ago, but we had to get an actual new pass. Yeah, so and new. Don't use your old picture. So you better come dialed up like Kelly was. She <laughs> yeah. come dialed up this morning. Because you have to get your own, get a new picture. But they said that they're going to be using these for a couple of months. But the old ones. We just went ahead because it wasn't too terribly crowded this morning. So, but they're going to a QR code now instead of. Barcode. They have a new system getting you in too. I think each line. I think there's only one line, one of them <clears throat> kiosks where it's on both sides. I think there was like three or four on each side you can scan your badge on. Yeah. Your pass. Or even your ticket out of where it. Where you used to have to come through one person and not. One person only had one scanner. There's more up front at the front gate now to get more people in quicker. I feel like they're going for efficiency this year. Yeah, but I do kind of like the personal touch, though. Yeah. We did have somebody ask us about lightning rod. Um, you know, they got rid of the magnetic launch because it kept shutting down. It was getting too hot, and then it would shut down. And then they'd have to take it out of commission for a little while for the magnets to cool down. This time, it's a chain pull. We didn't ride it because can't get Mikey to ride anything. 
but I just wonder, is it as fast since it's not doing that magnetic launch? It's pulling you up and then going down the hill, I don't know. But people are screaming, they seem to be having fun. I haven't heard anybody complain about it. So if anybody's been on the lightning ride on this new one and rode the old magnetic launch, yeah, let us know what the difference is. Let us know if there's any difference. I wouldn't know. I, wouldn't, I won't get to ride it until Pop is here because I don't want to ride it by myself. Or if you're going to be here when we're here, come ride the roller coaster with me. But she's not by herself. She's got all them other people. That's different. <laughs> got all them other so people different. on here with you. You're not by yourself. No, it's different. So the new show, um, I highly recommend that. It goes show. from Dolly as a kid. She's talking in it throughout the whole time. And they have several of the girls that are dressing up like Dolly. They had amazing voices, didn't they? I was they did. very impressed. And that's probably now one of my favorite shows. Um, definitely will be seeing that one again. Can't wait to bring Mimi to sing that one. And then the wigs. Yeah. I wonder if those are some of her original wigs. I was wondering that myself. You should have seen and the was, hairstyle she's gone through through the years. Some man. of her original outfits, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I'm curious. It's a really good show, though. But it's in the. Um, Celebrity Theater. But it was, uh, what is it? From the Heart? Yeah. It's almost like Dolly Through the Years. It is, yeah. And, and it's Dolly's Wigs Through the Years, too. <laughs> Dolly Through the Years. The little girl that plays her is a little girl. Amazing. Yes. Really good. So, highly recommend that show. And they did take away Dreamland Drive In. They took that show away, and they have a new one over there, but we didn't get to see it today. So, we'll see that next time. That Dreamland Drive, that's been here for a long time. That has been a, yeah, that's been a long going show. I feel like they kind of needed to get a new one. I mean, it was a good show, but yeah, I can't wait to see the new one. Though. So, this is the strawberry crunch funnel cake. You gonna try it? I guess I might let you have some of it. Mm, is that like a strawberry cool I don't know, I can't tell. It's ice cream. Oh, it's ice cream? Okay. I don't know. You tell us. What do you think? Is it good? Is it a do-over? Oh yeah. Is it ice cream? It might be, I don't know. Ice cream or Cool Whip or... No, it's like Cool Whip. Something like... God, oh, jeez. <laughs> don't snort it now. Okay, like I'll try not to. Down. One of my favorite stops on the way out is the Spotlight Bakery. They have the best brownies, cookies, and cupcakes. This is your last chance to get that amazing cinnamon bread before you leave the park. Sixty for the all day, thirty, eighty-five for the year. And 30 for that. All right, then. Till next time. See y'all.